Hey, beautiful divas. Now, I want to share a message with you. And before I say the message, because I want you to go get your big girl panties before you watch the rest of this video, because some of the things that I say are going to sting a little bit. And some of the things I say is going to make you want to turn off this video. However, if you feel any of that resistance, then that is a sign that you definitely need to hear what it is that I have to say. I have been helping women for over 20 years to be able to heal their love blocks and attract their romantic best friend and do it within 90 days. I have a Google review track record that will blow your mind of me being able to do it. And so I have met multiple women from all around the world who have come to me for help. And this is what I have seen that has caused them to remain in their pain over and over again. I saw this this video of this woman who said that women spend more time working on the outside than they do working on the inside. And I was like, wow, who is this? She said, y'all are off out there getting BBLs, nose jobs, breast implants. You're putting all on this makeup. You're getting ribs removed, fat removed. You're doing all these things. However, ma'am, on the inside, it is just rotten to the core. Now, I don't say this with judgment. I say this like this. A lot of you guys have been through a lot of pain. A lot of you have been sexually violated. A lot of you have experienced men cheating on you, mistreating you, not valuing you, not seeing you, and it started with your daddy. And since then, you have created a belief system about yourself that you are not valuable. And then, a lot of you, you have tried to prove your value by overachieving. You are the best in your job. You work your butt off. You are a false babe to the finest. You have been able to accumulate all kinds of success, accolades, and award, and money. However, inside, you still feel like crap. Inside, you still feel like you're not enough. And you still continue to attract men who reflect the way you feel about yourself. This has led to a lot of you ending up bitter, angry, jaded, and that has made you come off very bitchy. I don't know any other way to say it, ma'am. You come off as standoffish. You come off as very judgmental. You look at the glasses half empty. You project your stuff on other people. You are very hard to deal with. You don't like having female friends or being around other females because you think it's easier to be around men. And that's because you have highly stepped into your masculine energy. Just take a breath for a second and let that sizzle in your spirit. I can wait. You stepped into your masculine energy. Why? Because you were abandoned a long time ago. Why? Because you were disappointed a long time ago. You weren't seen a long time ago. And so that has made you fight to be seen and has moved you into your masculine energy. And as you have moved into your masculine energy, you have disconnected from your feminine essence, from your own feelings, from what really matters to you. You have disconnected from your intuition. You have disconnected from your ability to be able to connect with others, including the feminine energy side of you, which means you have oftentimes disconnected from your emotions. You don't even know how you feel anymore. You don't even know what it is that you want. And at the end of the day, the worst part is you don't trust yourself when it comes to love. So you spend all of your focus on your career, on making money, on taking care of your kids, on giving, doing, and being for everybody else except yourself. Now you're in the pattern of attracting men who resonates with the same energetic vibration that you are feeling. All of that toxicity, the trauma, the love blocks that are within you are simply attracting over and over again men who reflect the way you feel about yourself, which constantly leads to you ending up feeling more rejected more in pain and more jaded. And so then you come off more and more to the world as being jaded to the point where sometimes you will even reject help that can help you to heal and change your life because you are too busy in fight mode and you don't trust anybody because you don't trust yourself. Diva, here's my recommendation. 
if you want your life to change. Because until you do change, you're going to continue to attract the same man with a different face every single time. If you really want to change your life, then this is what you must heal. Your story, your physiology, the way you hold your body, and your constant feelings equal your focus. And your focus equals feelings. And your feelings color your perceptions. The way you perceive the world is the way you behave in the world. And behavior over time equals your personality. And your personality will always unfold your personal reality. Ma'am, your personal reality isn't the way it is because all men are dogs. It's not. There are good men out there. There's a lot of good men out there. You just can't see them. You can't see them because you are blinded by the traumas and by the love blocks. Love blocks are thoughts, behaviors, or beliefs that keep you from the love that you want. You are blinded and you're energetically vibrating with the lowest point of your trauma. And that is what attracts the dysfunctional relationships. But there are a lot of great guys out there. So you're not single because you're not attractive enough. You're not single because there's not enough good guys. You're not single because of whatever it is that whoever out there has told you an excuse on why you're single. The only reason why you're single is because you have blocks keeping you from the love that you want. Because trust and believe God made everybody with a soulmate. Everybody has several soulmates. There are men out there who will love you, who are looking for just you. But in order for you to be able to receive those men, you must be seen. And for so many of you, you are so covered by your anger, your bitterness, your trauma, and your perceptions based on all the bad things and all the things other people have done to you that you can't see love if it stood on top of your head. So if you have been trying to work on yourself for more than three months, then ma'am, please accept this with love. You are entering in the phase of insanity. Insanity is when you continue to do the same thing expecting different results. What you're doing isn't working. What you're doing is wasting time. And here's the deal. I have been helping women for 20 years. I run a high-end practice of helping women with a formula based in science that has a 98% success rate. I can help you to be able to attract love. I can help you to heal your love blocks. I can help you become an ethical master of seductress where men will fall at your feet and gladly give you whatever you want. But one thing I can't do is I can't fix a bad attitude. You know, I have hundreds of women a day come through for appointments with me and my love specialist to help them for love. And we have to turn down over 60 to 70% of them because of their attitude, because they're not ready because they don't trust themselves, so they don't trust others. Because they can't see the value in fighting for themselves and investing in themselves. And with that, they must continue their pattern all by themselves. And my recommendation to you is, find a way to be able to say yes to you. To work more on the inside than you do on the outside, than you do on the makeup, on the breast, on the butt, and everything else. Because once you fix what's going on on the inside, everything, including your money on the outside, will start to improve for the better. That's how you get to the dream life. So ladies, it is with love that I send you this message. I'm not for everybody, and I'm perfectly okay with that. But I get the blessed opportunity of getting the front row seat to those who I am for, watching them completely transform and heal their lives. So if you want my help, if you want the help of my team and you truly want to heal your love blocks and attract your romantic best friend in 2023 and you want to stop wasting time, then ma'am, this is what you need to do. Go on my website, bossdiva.com and go down to where it says live stream. It is the entire webinar that will show you how to attract a masculine man. Now, after that webinar, I have an assessment. Now take that assessment seriously because that determines if you actually get a booking to do a discovery call with one of my love specialists. Do the assessment and then book your call and let's see if we can help you. I look forward to joining you on your journey to love.